Today we wear statements by the honorable members for the District of Fairyland, Placentia West Bellevue, Umber Bay of Islands, Torngat Mountains, Arbor, Maine. The honorable the member for Fairyland. Thank you, Speaker. Today I recognize a volunteer-based nonprofit social enterprise located in Pity Harbor. Fishing for Success was founded in 2014 to transmit the intangible cultural heritage of Newfoundland and Labrador's family fishery. They advocate for an inclusive, gender equitable, and sustainable small scale fishery that can help combat climate change and contribute to food sovereignty through better local seafood access. They provide free or reduced cost programming for women, children, youth, newcomers, and indigenous community members by partnering with other like minded nonprofits. In 2021, they received the President's Award for Public Engagement Partnerships by Memorial University of Newfoundland. In 2022, they were awarded the Sustainable Tourism Award sponsored by Parks Canada, and their most recent award was awarded in November 2022, which was a Nature Inspiration Award for Community Action by Canadian Museum of Nature for its new Sea to School program and its Girls Who Fish program, which now has a sister one in Jap Japan. Girls Who Fish members from the core volunteers who provide access to fishing for those who experience barriers to nature. I ask all members of this House to join me in congratulating Fishing for Success on their accomplishments and their contribution to the fishing industry of Newfoundland and Labrador. Thank you. The Honourable the Member of Central West Bellevue. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, today I rise in this Honourable House to give a big congratulations to all players and coaches in the Marystown Youth Dart League in the beautiful district of Central West Bellevue on another successful season. On March 11th, members of the Marystown Youth Dart League traveled to Gander to take part in Newfoundland Youth Dart Provincial Dart Championships. Six youth won their way to represent Team Newfoundland at the National Youth Dart Championships held in St. Hyacinth, Quebec on May 17th to the 21st. Representing the junior boys are 15-year-old Jordan Crocker and 16-year-old Logan Connors. Representing the junior girls, are 14-year-old Olivia Lundrigan and 15-year-old Cheyenne Crocker. And representing the senior boys are 18-year-old Jack Moulton and 18-year-old Ian Jackman. I am asking all my honorable members to please join me in congratulating these young individuals and their teams on their accomplishments to date and wish them great success at the upcoming nationals and their bright futures in the sport. Thank you, Speaker. The Honourable the Member Humber Bay of Islands. Mr. Speaker, this past weekend, the 4-H Rockets of Irishtown Summerside, the longest run running club in the province, hosted the provincial competitions involving 50 youth from around the province. Others taking part included the challenging pioneers from the Ghouls, the Zodiac Club from St. Mary's, and the One Sullivan Club from Calvert. They focused on learning and fun. The competitions included competing in various demonstration projects and public speaking at the junior and senior levels. Winners of the various competitions were Amy Bishop and Heather Squires for the senior demonstration and Alicia Brake for the junior uh, single demonstration of the Zodiac Club. Olivia Taylor was the recipient of the senior public speaking and Stephanie Lungton for the junior public speaking, both from the Challenging Pioneer Club. Bridget Bercy, and Molly Buffett from the 4-H Rockets won the junior double demonstration, while Sarah Taylor from the Challenging Pioneers won the senior single demonstration. Congratulations also to the Rockets leader, Janelle Bercy, the first recipient of the Mini Loader Leader of the Year Award, a new award just established. I ask all members to join with me in congratulating all the participants and the organizers on a great weekend of competition and friendship. Thank you. The Honourable the Member Torngat Mountains. Thank you, Speaker. Educator, coach, community advocate, graduate of Jens Haven School, Nain, Julie Dicker's parents stressed doing well in school and always trying your best in sports. A youth lifetime of competitive sports led Julie to Memorial University School of Human Kinetic and Recreation. But the road was long and winding. Julie didn't enter the Bachelor of Education program until she was 24. In her own words, her teenage and young adult years had trauma connected to intergenerational trauma. 
Her driving force was to graduate and work with her people. When things were tough, she thanks her life partner, Edna Asivak, for always being there with love and support. Graduating with a Bachelor of Education, a Bachelor of Physical Education, she first taught and coached in Makovic. After obtaining a Master's of Physical Education in 2014 and a teaching job in her hometown of Nain, a big part of Julie's dream was fulfilled. Julie is now the principal of Jens Having. Julie knows the physical and mental health benefits of sports and spent thousands of hours encouraging youth through coaching, building skills to face the life challenges of adulthood. That is our Julie. You have to give youth hope. Julie will always be a part of that hope. Thank you, Speaker. The Honorable the member for Harbour, Maine. Joining us in the gallery today is 17-year-old Martin Croke with his mother, Carolyn, and his father, Gary, of the community of Marysvale in the district of Harbour, Maine. Martin has... <laughs> Martin has lived with cerebral palsy since birth. This past week, I was honored to join Martin and his family and friends, along with his fellow students and teachers at Ascension Collegiate, where he was granted his wish by the Wish Foundation. Martin received a new Hippocamp wheelchair. This type of chair has the ability to wheel on sand, pebbles, hiking trails, and it can even float on water and glide on snow. Martin's family loved the outdoors. His sister Jenna and brother Thomas are quite active and adventurous. The family enjoy hiking the trails, spending time in the woods on their quad and side by side, and having fun at the local beaches in the surrounding area. Martin's hippocamp chair now gives him personal autonomy and makes it much easy for, easier for him to be together with his family, enjoying the simple pleasures of life. I ask all members of this honorable house to join me in congratulating Martin and his family and wish them many happy adventures in exploring our province's beautiful outdoors. Thank you. Thank you.